Hi, in today's video I'm going to talk to you about how I made my anti-midge net canopy for my tent. But first, why did I make it? Scotland is a beautiful place to go bikepacking, mountain biking, hill walking. But in the summer, while the views are fantastic, if you stand still for more than five seconds, you will get visited by the dreaded midge. Oh, the midges, the midges, I'm no gonna kid you. The midges is really the limit. We teeth like piranhas, they drive you bananas. If you let them get under your simmer. So as you can see, the midge in Scotland is a big nuisance. While there are solutions available like creams and lotions, what it doesn't do is stop the midges from actually getting in contact with you. So I wanted to find a solution that would allow us to have some space in front of our tent. This is the midge net in the bag and these are the poles for the midge net. Here are the poles. It's a 15 segment pole with string attached to erect the tent. Here I stuck velcro patches on the pole to stop the string and the net slipping on the pole. I used a few car wire eyelet rings with non-stretch cord pulled through and then tied a knot on the end. These would attach to the end of the poles and form the ground strings to form the structure of the canopy. The holes in the eyelets are enlarged just enough to fit over the pole pin so they fit securely when under tension, but just loose enough to make quick assembly and disassembly of the canopy when being attacked by the midges. Here you see the ultra-fine mesh used for the canopy. The mesh is a lot finer than a mosquito net. I based the size of the canopy on the fact that I wanted to stand up in it and still have room around me. I have used three ground strings to form the structure of the canopy and hold the pole in its arch. I will now explain each of the three ground strings. First we have the pole position string relative to the tent. Two rings are attached to the pole position string where the tent poles will be inserted. Next we have the pole whip string. This holds the pole in its arch shape. The final ground string is the string that holds the pole upright. Again I've used the ring attached to the string to position the peg relative to the pole. There are now just two pieces of string left. One that goes over the tent that holds the mesh to the tent and the other is the pole support string. In this view I show how the net tie down string would wrap the tent holding the mesh in place attached at the ring on the ground position string. I also show in this image how we would enter and exit the canopy. Here is the canopy in real life. There is some room for improvement but I basically want it to be elastic. To automatically close on entering or exit. These patches of velcro did a surprisingly good job though. Still, adding some more material to make a flap I think would be a big improvement. Here I'm laying out the three ground strings. The first string, the pole position string, put the ring at each pole of the tent. This is used to position the arch relative to the tent. Next is the pole width string. This would hold the pole in its arch shape. Now I'm laying out the final ground string which will hold the pole arch upright. With the ground strings in place I can now erect the pole arch. With all the ground strings in place and the pole upright we can now put the midge net on. Here I've used heavy duty velcro stuck to both sides of the midge net and an extra piece threaded through to loop around the ground strings and on the poles. It's a lightweight way to hold the mesh in place. Here you can see how the ground strings come together and the pole is in position. With that all it needs now is to tie the mesh net down to the ground strings and do a few adjustments and the midge net is in place. Overall I'm pretty pleased with Tent and it's been on its first outing and it's had great success. Finally I added this slide. I knew midges come in the direction of the CO2 that you breathe out but it came very apparent when we were in the tent 
that the ridges were on one side of the canopy, literally 180 degrees. So in future, I would orientate the tent so that it's in the direction of the wind, so the midge is on the far side of the canopy. If you have any questions about how I made this midge net, please put your questions in the comments below. Thank you for watching. He made Scotland the home of the midges. Oh, the midges, the midges, and no gone kidges. The midges is really the limit. With teeth with piranhas, they drive you bananas if you let them get under your cement.